Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here. In the next video, we're going to talk about how I built my Mando shoulders for the armor set. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the slicer and I'm show you guys how I did the settings, the supports, all that shenanigans. So let's go. All right. So for the shoulder piece, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to flatten it on this side and then we're going to increase the offset for this by five millimeters. So we're going to increase the Z by um, five millimeters. And then we're going to add supports all the way down here. And then we're going to add supports here under just this little flat part. Um, because normally I would say, yeah, it should be fine, but I don't want to take any chances on this one. Um, it, it looks pretty, look, yeah, see, look, it looks really, really flat. It's, it's going to be a really bad overhang. So just add supports under there. Um, and that's it. That's really all the supports that you need. Um, also make sure to add supports all under here. Um, it is going to be an overhang and you're going to have really bad, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Kind of spaghetti pasta, whatever down there. So that's for the supports. Now for the process, the settings, as always, we're going to be using a 0.6 millimeter, um, a nozzle. The layer is going to be we're going to make that 0.3 because I really just want to get this on the build plate printing because we're going to smooth it out anyway. We're going to use a raft. I want to print this at uh, 15. Um, you can use 10 to use less filament, but that's up to you. Always no need for heated bed because we're going to use the masking tape. Um, speeds are 80 millimeters per second. And as always, this is going to be printed on my trusty CR10 S4. Because uh, that thing is my workhorse. So for both the um, left and right shoulders is, is exactly the same. Um, it's just there's a mud horn right here for his insignia. So let's throw this on a uh, printer and let's get to it. All right. So all we're going to do is we're going to put about this much um, wood filler in a cup. And then we're going to put some water in it. All right, now there is no exact measurement for this, but you just add enough water to make sure that when you stir it, it's gonna give you a nice milky consistency. So this is actually a little too runny. Um, I want it just a tad bit thicker, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, wood filler in there. Just to give it the consistency that I'm looking for. I want it to be a little creamier than that um, and not so much runny or watery. So that's about what I'm looking for consistency wise, maybe a tad bit more. Um, that's okay because I'm going to be using this for a few pieces here. So there you go, nice and thick for consistency. And now we're just going to take this and spread it around onto the um, pieces. All right, so um, now that they've dried, um, what we want to do is we're going to sand them. We're going to start with uh, 180 grit sandpaper, then we're going to go up to 320, and then I'm going to go up to 400 possibly to make it nice and blended and smooth, and then we're going to prime it and should be ready to go. All right, guys, so for the paint, we're going to be using this Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint and primer. Uh, metallic silver. I'm going to be using this for majority of the entire build. Um, there are some things that are like brown, like the thigh piece, but for the most part, this is what we're going to be using. All right, so that's it, man. That's how everything was done post processing, smoothing, paint. Um, and it came out really, really nice. Um, I like it. There's a little bit of touch up that needs to be done on the sides here. Um, so uh, I'm going to do that later. I just want to get the video out so I can help you guys make your armor now. 
So, um, just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, if I was help, able to help you out at all, please give me a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later for the next video for the thigh pieces and the forearms.